Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're here in the F-16. We're going to be hitting some North Korean targets today. As you can see in front of me, we have an X-47B. This is lent to us by the Navy. Uh, this guy's going to go in there. He's going to launch some cruise missiles. It should take out some, uh, you know, some SA-2 sites and possibly some SA-5 sites that the uh, North Koreans have set up here. Uh, I am carrying two harms to protect myself as well, a couple of AMRAMs. Uh, and then we're going to hit a uh, North Korean base. It's a hidden little base area with uh, two ICBMs. The I think it's pronounced the Haesong uh, ICBM, two-stage uh, ICBM with 15,000 kilometer range. Uh, obviously nuclear capable, so we're going to try to hit it. Just because we hit these things doesn't mean it's going to explode on the spot on the ground. right? These things need to be armed. Um, but there will probably be some radioactive fallout. <laughs> Uh, after we hit it, but you know that that's the scenario. We got to hit this thing. Uh, it's a single F-16 mission uh, So we're gonna go in It's gonna be a tough one, but we're gonna fight our way in uh, this little drone here will be very helpful I, I can't possibly defend against that many SAM sites on my own uh, So we're gonna this guy's gonna walk me in he's gonna help me out a little bit and then if any air assets show up Shouldn't be a serious problem for me in terms of technology. We're head and shoulders above the North Koreans uh, the best thing that they fly is a MiG-29, um, which, you know, should not be an issue for the F-16 with the AMRAMs. Uh, we should be entering North Korean airspace here momentarily, and this drone will start doing his thing. Uh, and I'll just leave him alone. There he goes. Here we go. Let's follow him. Let's just see him drop a missile. It's pretty cool. There we go. You see the, the bay doors opening, and we got one away. Okay, so those cruise missiles should cause some chaos, which I will try to exploit and try to get in. Also, a very large amount of AAA in the area, so we can't fly too low. Uh, flying low will be super dangerous. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And there he goes. He's going to do his thing. Okay, uh, let's go to air to air. What do we got here? Data link is saying we have two guys in the air. One right here and one right here. Looks like they're trying to set up like a pincer. Uh, an east and west pincer. So we'll... Uh, wait, what's the uh, drone doing? Are you still doing his thing? Okay, uh, I'm gonna deal with the Western Bandit first. We got a single group west. So we're gonna try to hit that guy first. It does look like their pincer's a little bit uh, off in terms of timing, which will allow me to kill one and then divert to the other one. Divide and conquer, kind of. Okay, so already this mission is difficult. We have SA-2s also in the area. SA-5 looks like it's already searching. Um, let's get this guy. He's at 21,000 feet and climbing. So I'm going to go ahead and turn into him. He is currently spiking me. 20 miles now. I'm turning in at 19. Absolutely do not want to dogfight. As you can see, I'm carrying two 2,000 pound JDAMs, two 800 pound harms. So this F 16 is not going to want to dogfight here. Okay, he's got a missile in the air. 
Fox 3 for me. And we're defending. Alright, we'll start defending here. Now that was a pretty close shot. We're at 11-ish uh, miles now. And you can already hear the RWR. Oh, never mind. It's still... I was gonna say he probably broke lock on me, but he did not. Um, but that missile should already be pip be pitbull, the AMRAM. Uh, pitbull means that the missile has switched to its own radar, so it no longer needs me. So I can stop supporting it, and I'm gonna break off and try to attack the eastern bandit now, the eastern side of this pincer that they were trying to set up. And hopefully that AMRAM hit that guy. through the cloud layer here. Uh, 26 miles from this guy. I don't see a kill in the distance, but I'm sure we got him. I'll have to keep an eye on that data link because if I miss the other guy, then I'll have to, to uh, recommit and kill him. Um, and that will make things much more complicated. So hopefully he's dead. I got this guy at 22 miles as we climb through 22,000 feet here. Okay, we're getting into reach here. Now we're uh, 19 miles off the nose. Okay, he's shot at me 18 miles. Fox 3 from me and we're gonna enter the crank here. Crank south, that should technically crank be away from the SA-2s that are in front. And look at that, he's going to miss a lot. He's trying really hard to hold his lock as he defends as well. Uh, 14 miles and I'm still holding my lock for my AMRAM. Never mind, that's gone. AMRAM on its own now. And look at this, oh I can see his missile, look at it, look at it go, oh there it goes. <laughs> that's unfortunate for him. And he got hit, he ate that AMRAM. That's why you want the Fox 3. Big reason why the Fox 3 is so superior to the Fox 1. If Fox 1, you lose luck for a second, that missile's trashed, which is what happened to his missile there. Uh, I got an SA2 watching me, so we're gonna do a little loop here and come back around. So, so far, they tried to pincer me. That didn't work out so well for them. Uh, it was a good idea in theory, but the timing was a little off, and therefore they just got divided and conquered. Uh, there's an SA-2 here who really wants my attention. He's spiking me. 
So I'm going to give him exactly what he's asking for. We're going to point the nose and magnum. Hold this for me, my dude. <laughs> oh, he shot at me. Okay, even if that harm doesn't hit him right in the face, it will at least suppress him. Uh, Data Link says there's another airborne target right off the nose flying low. That SA-2 still spiking me. I think the SA-2 might be trying to like distract me from uh, whatever this airborne target is who's trying to come in low. He's on the other side of this hill here, a mountain. So let's turn in, let's have a look. Let's see who we got here. Still on data link, not on radar yet. Let me just pop over this hill. Here we go, got him on radar now. And locked. It's a MiG-21, by the way. According to RWR, I can tell from his radar signature. He's right here, right off the nose at three miles. There he goes, he's flaring Fox 3 for me. Those flares are not gonna help against the AMRAMs. And dead. Splash 1, make 21, and he just got out. Look at that. We have a shoot. That guy just got out. Okay, we got to start getting on on mission here. I'm gonna climb up a little bit. We gotta become offensive on that. Uh, the Hey Songs, I think is how you say it again. Uh, drop these JDAMs and let's get out of here. There may still be some operational SA-2s in the area, although it doesn't seem like it. Uh, everyone's either dead there's possible that's one that's kept himself turned off and he was hidden look at this perfect yep yeah. sa2 right there i knew it so this guy probably had his radar off and so my harms didn't see him and uh the drone didn't hit him either so it's like a pop-up sa2 that's all right i still have one harm locked that's this guy right there 26 miles. Again, this harm might not hit him, but it might suppress him, so I'm just gonna go ahead and send it, see what happens. Magnum, he shot at me too. Uh, we'll start defending here. Reducing altitude, that SA-2 still holding his lock on me. That's good, because that means the harm will have something to hit, theoretically. Uh, it might have lost lock on me. But it is trying to hold the lock. It's over there somewhere. But we got to get in there. I don't have time to just fly around like this. And I'm all out of harms. We got to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, there might be a little bit of self-sacrifice required here, <laughs> uh, depending on if that harm hit that SA-2 or not. Um, but these ICBMs cannot be allowed to exist. So I'm going to pull up the JDAMs. We're going to get in there and we're going to kill these things no matter the price. That SA-2 is still up. It's still looking over here. It like turned itself off again and the harm probably missed. And it's spiking me again. Look at this. This is fantastic. Okay, we're gonna have to. 
I'm gonna have to go in low altitude. I bet you this is the SA-2 that's guarding the actual ICBMs as well. Which is why it was off this whole time. Like it wasn't off, it was like hiding, you know? It knew that it was gonna be needed later. Uh, you can see triple, triple A fire off the nose. So we gotta be careful, I'm flying somewhat evasively here. Uh, and let's get this thing on TGP. And then we'll do a pop-up and hopefully that gives me enough time to drop the bombs and evade if the SA-2 shoots at me. It is a beautiful day, you gotta admit. <laughs> it looks nice. It's a good day to die, I guess you could say. This SA-2 is still looking for me. Look at this. Oh, oh lots of AAA. That's, remember when I said we couldn't fly low? That's the reason why. Uh, a lot of, now they're doing like the firing through the clouds, which is kind of scary. Here we go. We got the actual base right here. There's the ICBMs right there. Got the first one locked. Still taking AAA fire here. And we're almost in range. As you can see, this little carrot on the HUD, when it's inside of this line here, that means we're in range. Okay, SA-2 has shot uh, Pickle, the first JDAM. And then here we go. Let me just line it up on the other one. Pickle, second JDAM. Okay, that's it. Bombs away. Uh, chaff and flare. We're defending. Let's get out of here. Already taking lots of trip. Oh, 